name is Heidi Harris and I'm an author. I write a lot of books and I, I'm not used to get in front of the camera. I've tried a couple times and not my biggest um, strength. So bear with me while I give it a try. I, I write a lot of books and my mom said I should just introduce myself and try to do a YouTube channel. So here I am. I went ahead and put on my crown so I am ready to talk about writing, I guess. Basically, I I have a lot of worlds in my head and I I write about them. So I am a, a clean author. That means that if I have uh, romance books, they're just kisses. I think they're fantastic stories. They're enjoyable. I have books like Lucy's Groom. Uh, this book right here is on Amazon. So if you uh, have a Kindle Unlimited account, you can read it. It's a mail order groom book. What happens is Lucy's father gets hurt. And so she needs a husband. She didn't want to get married, but she puts out an advertisement and Luke answers it. His father had passed away and he's responsible for his mother and his brother. And so when he sees the advertisement, he's already been working, looking for work for a while. And he goes ahead and answers the, the advertisement. And when he does, Lucy answers back and she says, bring your mother and brother with you. And that is within the first like couple chapters of the book. After that, it's about Lucy and Luke getting to know each other and them getting married right as they meet and just fun things like that. I personally hate when people get married at the end of the book. So if I do write a romance story, they're usually married by chapter like five or they're well on their way. I think that if you have a marriage that that is the real adventure or it should be. And so I like them to learn about each other after they're married and develop that relationship and become partners and friends. And so I do that in Lucy's Groom. I also do that in another historical romance that I write called the Collins Ranch Trilogy. That's also on Amazon and it's called uh, Josh's, uh, I have Jake's Troubles and Josh's Plight and Mary's Mark. And so in Jake's Troubles, he ends up going to the train station. Uh, well, he doesn't go to the train station. He goes to the post office to get his mail and it's by the train station and a woman follows him and says, why did you leave me on our wedding night? His twin brother had married a lady in his place and sent her to him. And so when he gets out his mail and his envelope, he sees a letter from his brother. And his brother says, hey, J Jake, I got you a wife. I think you guys will get along great. And that is the beginning of that book. So it's a real problem with my writing. So um, if you're interested in any books where they get married in the first couple chapters, I have those historical romance and then I have this story right here. It's a storyteller series. They are able to be read by standalones. They're super easy reads. Uh, you can just fly right through them. Just kisses. And um, they are fated mates. So they have story powers. And what that means is when they turn 17, they get the power to tell stories. And with that power, they have to go to an old timey village of Angeline. So I have the older pictures here. And when they get there, they have a quest to go on. And the quest is to stay in that old time village for an entire year with their soulmate. And they get married right off the bat. And when they uh, go through these quests, there's, there's Goldilocks. She uh, lives next door. And then uh, it just kind of follows Goldilocks and her um, Goldilocks and her family throughout their life. So in book one, they meet a little girl named Goldilocks, and then her daughter becomes friends with her. And then um, Emma's other daughter becomes really good friends with her, and she just starts staying. This one is an enemies to lovers. So if you like where they don't get along right off the bat, they find out their soulmates in Allison's challenge. And her challenge is that Cassius is the man she's supposed to be with. So, uh, in this story, they have dragons, they have a quest, there is waterfalls and a sapphire stone, and Goldilocks is her best friend, and they go and they have peach pie and peach cobbler and things like that, and just enjoy each other's company. And they are, they are super easy reads. And if you are not a reader, really, I do have these four books are on audiobook, and I read them, so I'm not a professional. <laughs> 
but I did read them and they are all on audiobook if you're interested in going that route and they're on audible so that is a little bit about me I write a ton of books uh it, some are historical romance and then I do have some kids series like this is uh Kaylina Strawley the case of the Vikings Valor Vic the Valor is the name of a puppy so if you see the puppy he's running through this festival and she's trying to find him and that is that story that I'm trying to get the series off the ground a little bit. And then her brother's story, her older brother, it's already written. It's got, uh, I think, 19 books. And so this one is The Case of the Underground Tunnel. So they're mowing grass in this book, and that leads to an underground library. And they find this secret room that's been hidden from the town for decades. So it's a cutesy-wootsy little story, too. But I write a little bit of everything. You can uh, look me up on HeidiHarrisWrites.com. So just HeidiHarrisWrites.com. And then I, you can find my books on Amazon. I have some things on Audible. I even write on Kindle Vella. I am just all over the place. And if you want to just say hi, say hi. And if you have any questions about writing, I, I'll probably uh, be trying to talk about my books, talk about writing, talk about some of my interests. And honestly, I have no clue what I'm doing, but hopefully you can help me figure out because I don't know. Uh, we'll just see what happens. And I'm going to try to publish one video a week on either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so just depending on sometimes life is a little bit more challenging on different weeks. So I'll try for Monday or Tuesday to publish a weekly episode. So if you have any questions about writing, I've been doing it for 10 years. My first book, well, almost 10 years. See, my first book, um, I guess it's been nine I've been a published author. I'm independently published, so I know a little bit about websites. I know a little bit about writing, character description, and a little bit about talking yourself into writing if you're not really up for it. But if you want to check out my books, they're on Amazon. If you want to ask me writing questions, post them in the comments. I will be checking them, and I'll probably answer with a video. I hope you have a blessed day, and if you enjoy this, go ahead and like or subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in my books, just go check them out. Heidi Harris on Amazon. Have a blessed day. Until next time. Love you guys.